Welcome back to our Star Wars Battlefront review discussion. I'm Dan Stapleton. This is Mitch Dyer, our reviewer. Yay. Brian Altano. <laughs> Hi. And Brian Albert. Hey, everyone. <laughs> Making noises. Thank you, guys. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> <laughs> Audio. Yeah. So uh, one of the big uh, controversial topics about uh, Battlefront is, like, why doesn't it have a campaign? Shouldn't it have a campaign? Um, and I want to throw it open to you guys. Like, how much does uh, it hurt Battlefront to not have a single-player campaign? I think it less hurts the game that it doesn't have one. Like, I, I feel like if it had one, obviously we'd be happy. Yeah, more but, is better. Yeah, and the fact that it doesn't, I'm okay with. Because I think it's a great multiplayer game, and I like a lot of what it's doing. And I, that's what I'm going to play, and I'm going to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. But I feel like the problem becomes, it feels like this game has the content it does because of the reaction to the lack of a campaign. So DICE says, we're not doing a campaign. People get angry. They wonder if the game's going to have enough content. So DICE adds all these different modes that seem kind of half-baked or generic or outright bad in some cases, and that just makes the game feel worse. Mm -hmm. And I think that the thing about the absence of a campaign hurts Battlefront a little bit because it's it's kind of replaced by this excess, unnecessary stuff. Brian, how about you? Um, I was one of the probably more vocal people about how upset I was that the most gorgeous, like fully realized Star Wars game ever made was going to be an online multiplayer shooter and nothing more. Um, I was really against that. And then I started digging into all the modes and all the content, and I am so happy with what's there right now. There's Everyone has been saying that this feels like it's been feature uh, stripped and that it's not a complete package. I actually don't feel that way at all. Um, and what's really fascinating with me is I found that there's a lot of single-player stuff in this game that I'm finding myself in love with that I didn't really think I would love so much. Um, a lot of the unlockables are based on your progression as an individual. A lot of the um, weapons and star cards and stuff like that, customizing your character to a degree and picking out your, your loadouts and stuff like that is kind of stuff I tinker with on my own in other games anyway. So without the definitive sort of like, here's a cutscene, here's the opening crawl, here's the story, I'm playing a game that's fully realized and beautiful in the Star Wars universe, and to me, the story is Star Wars. Like, I know, when the Rebels and the Empire are fighting, I know the context there, you know? It's that they all hate each other. Yeah. <laughs> and I have seen the movies, and I know why they hate each well, other. Well, there's contextual set dressing, too. Yeah. Like, you look out over the fields of Hoth, and you realize, like, oh, we're not in Echo Base, we're in Outpost Beta, or whatever it is, and yeah. you can see the generator destroyed. Yeah. So, okay, the Rebels have left, left Hoth. Yeah. Or at least Luke and Han have, because when the Falcon and the X-Wing fly away, Stuff still go happens on Hoth, right? And this is that. Uh, and, and that's cool. And Brian, it's good that they hate each other because trade negotiations on Naboo oh, broke down. Were, yeah, <laughs> I know. They're not going well at all. The embargoes were unbelievable. <laughs> all right. And Brian, how about you? Uh, I So when I play games, I try to play them for, for one or two reasons. One is that I think the mechanics are great and I want to get better at it, which is like Dota, basically. Mm -hmm. um, or that I really like the story. And even if the game's not super fun to play, like I'm still enjoying what they're saying. Uh, this game doesn't do either of those for me. Mm -hmm. This game for me is, you know, how co-op makes everything better no matter what it is. I don't think this is a bad game, but like, that's what this game is for me. Is like, I, I would love a campaign, I would love a Star Wars story to play through, especially with something so beautiful. Um, but like, I'm having fun playing this kind of game that I've never really played before, which is like, after an hour, I'm kind of tired of it, but I had a great time with my friends yeah. for an hour. And the, the word and, I, I almost used in the review, but I didn't want to because I feel like it would be misconstrued, is disposable. I was literally just thinking that word. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, because it's, it's like a popcorn movie, right? Like, you're going to sit there, you're going to eat some trash, you're going to watch some f fun stuff happen. You're going to leave, and you go, that was fun, and you never think about it again. Well, that's exactly why I've, I'm so in love with this game, because of the way I've been playing it specifically is that I'll get home from work, and I'll play two or three matches, and then I'll go on with my night or I'll wake up and before work, which is I've been doing every day this week, is get up and play 30, 40 minutes of Battlefront and then get ready and go to work. And it's not something that I have to sit there and go, oh, this is like three or four hours, but I feel like chipping away at a few rounds in there, here and there is just enough progression for me to make me feel like I'm doing something. Yeah. My stat bars are going up. I'm doing all the meta <laughs> challenges, which is to me like the kind of single player stuff that I, like after I got through the campaign in Goldeneye, and Perfect Dark, like classic shooters for me. I went back and I, I did all of the sort of metagame stuff to unlock um, paintball mode and big head mode. And to do that, you have to like beat things in a certain amount of time or hit things in a certain amount of frequency. And that stuff is in this game to yeah. a degree. So I'm, I'm finding myself getting involved in the kind of like, almost like trophy achievement-esque stuff that the game has baked in, which is pretty much like, scratches the single player itch that I, I would be getting for anything but a definitive story. So you campaign. and I should be playing like the co-op survival yeah. stuff. Yeah. Like get Master, yeah. finishing out all those stars. Sure, and sure. Doing that stuff. So for me, I, I think the, the, the lack of a campaign isn't so much 
something that hurts Battlefront because I think it's okay for for a, a game to be only <coughs> to multiplayer or only single player. Uh, you don't need both. You end up with tacked on garbage. Yep. Um, I think what what hurts it is kind of external in that there is no single player Star Wars game right now right. That, that looks this good and and you know makes me makes me feel like I'm immersed in that world. Right. Much. Like it's created a void that it never intended to fill. Right. So so it's it just that highlights the lack of that game. Yeah. So and I, I, I don't think I don't think it's a a mark against Battlefront. But, yeah. But it, man, it makes me want that single player game. Well, it's it's like going to a restaurant and realizing that all the cooks there are amazing, and you're like. Do you guys make pizza? And they're like, no. And you're like, well, you should. You'd be so good at it. <laughs> All right. Well, that's part two of our uh, Star Wars Battlefront review discussion. Thank you guys for joining us, and thank you guys for participating. We'll have much more on Star Wars Battlefront coming up.